Now then, Mrs. Worthmore, once you put this face mask on that pimple, it will disappear in just five minutes. Oh, excellent. I'll put it on right now. No! Why not? In order for it to work properly, you have to let it dry for five minutes outdoors and in the light of the full moon. You mean I have to wait until tonight? Why, yes, my dear, and let the cool air dry it when the full moon is at its highest. And then Captain Hopper faced the enemy with his powerful weapon. You weren't counting on my brains, were you? <laughs> hey, Mr. Maimon. Can aliens really turn their bodies into people's bodies anytime they want to? Oh, sure, Chavo. Actually, everything you're reading in that story is true. Because everybody knows that aliens have slimy green skin. Really, really green. Just like a lizard. And is it also true that... is a little on the skinny side, don't you think? Yes, but there's more than enough flesh on those scrawny bones for our experiment to work. Banana, show me what you got. Hit me, slime boy. Hey, Chavo, did you just see what I'm not sure I just saw? I'm not sure. I see the sky. How about you? Me too. But, uh, do you notice something strange? Not really. Except those weird lights moving everywhere. Mr. Maimond! Mr. Maimond, wake up! Come on, lizards! Hold still! Fight fair! Huh? Hey, wake up! The alien invaders have arrived! Tell them not to track mud in the door. Hey, 
What happened? The aliens are here! Yeah, they're invading the Earth! <laughs> Wake up! The aliens are here! <laughs> and just outside Orion's belt, the meteor shower is called Orionid. Can you see it? Yes, Professor. It's almost as if I could reach out and touch it. That's what a telescope is for, Kiko. So that you can see things up close and... They're coming in huh? lots of spaceships! There they are, Mr. Raymond! Oh, yeah, it's true. I see them. They're spaceships, all right. So are the aliens invading us? No, Chavo, don't worry. The aliens up there are all my friends. They're just coming by to say hi. If they wanted to invade the Earth, they would have asked me first. Just a minute there, Raymond. How can you possibly say those kind of things to the children? What did I say? All of that nonsense about spaceships and aliens coming by just to say hello. I'll have you know that I was an astronaut and... You I were an astronaut? I think the more appropriate term would be space cadet. Hold on there, Professor. No, you're going to listen to me. Put your eye over here on the telescope. Oh. I see fireworks. Is today the 4th of July? What you just saw, Raymond, is a phenomena called a shooting star, got it? No spaceships or anything crazy like that. Why do you want to confuse the children with your stories? Well, I... well, I... I'm confusing the children? So what did I say? You told them that there are aliens! I will not continue arguing with an ignoramus. Well, the one arguing with an ignoramus is you. That's what I get for listening to those kids. If they didn't bother waking me up with that story about... <laughs> aliens! <laughs> <laughs> Professor Giafaldi, help me! Come here, you gotta see this! He can't see me like this! Come on, Professor! There's an alien here! It's horrible! The most ugly, hideous-looking alien I've seen in my <gasps> entire life as an astronaut! <laughs> Raymond? <gasps> Raymond, where are you? What just happened? I heard Mr. Raymond screaming. He was crying like a scared little girl. Oh, dear. What happened to him? Raymond? You hear me? What's wrong? Mr. Raymond, come on, wake up. I saw it. I swear it was one of them. Saw what? An alien <laughs> invader. It was green like a lizard. Again with the alien nonsense. Seriously, I saw it. The invaders are already here. Help me. You heard what the professor said about aliens. They don't exist. I told you so. They do exist! Now we just need to keep our faces pointed to the moon. Oh, no aliens! Look! <laughs> what did you say, Chavo? Chavo, what happened? This is worth more. We're going to miss the moonlight. Chavo, we have to find a way to destroy all the aliens. Maybe tomorrow. No, right now. We have to do it the way Captain Hopper showed us. So first we use the rope, and then the net, and finally the water. Water? What if the aliens are actually good swimmers? No, dummy. Captain Hopper's been fighting aliens since he was a kid, and he says to melt them with water. Junior, could you go over the rope procedure one more time? Yeah, sure. That's the easy part. Okay, now listen. We just have to get them to step in the middle of the circle so that we can catch them. I see. Like this? Yeah, like that. Ready? Lift off! <laughs> Let's go to the back courtyard, Mrs. Worthmore. There's more light there. Now? No, not yet. Wait, Kiko, we're only gonna get one chance at this. Now, Kiko! What's going on? <gasps> My turn! <gasps> Wait, no! I got him! Chavo, you know what to do! Okie dokie. <laughs> Oh, the aliens are melting, 
just like Captain Hopper said. What's going on here? We captured some aliens, right there. You see, Professor, I told you, they do exist. Uh, Professor Girafaldi, don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Oh, Raymond, dear, help me. I need someone to rescue me. Oh. Good luck. Mrs. Worthmore, what are you doing in the fountain? I was just about to ask the same question. Well, we thought that aliens were invading the Earth. Right, Junior? Actually, I think I hear my dad calling me. As a matter of fact, I think I hear Junior's dad calling me, too. <laughs> I don't hear anyone calling me, but I'm leaving anyway. See ya. Uh, hold on there, kids. I'll go with you. You're not going anywhere. Don't worry, Mrs. Worthmore. Whoever is responsible for this will pay. <laughs> Are you done with this nonsense? No, it's going to be a while longer. Now be patient and don't move. 